No wonder cherries are so famed for their blossoms. Look at this. This, I think, is in its seventh year. And it is just... And you know what? It does that many cherries in June, too. And down here we have the Saskatoons. Opening up as well. So this is just a big blanket of white shrub white flowered shrub and tree dwarf tree it's pretty amazing it smells really good too some of that scent is the miniature daffodils have scent to them and they smell amazing. But yeah, that's nice. Again, this is my property line. Not mine. I do green undergrowth and primarily pre perennials and self-free cedars. I'm hoping that before too long I'll start to see the tomatoes coming up. If they all survive just fussing. Yeah, here we go. The radishes that self reseed are starting to come up. So this is old radish. And that's the uh, primary leaf, secondary leaf, and this is the young primary leaf. Of a radish seedling. Oh, the poet's daffodils open. I love those. These I need to untuck from the tire because they don't deal well with the heat of the tire. But these, I believe, are scented. Oh my gosh, and they smell phenomenal. And then these ones are the pink. And these are definitely scented. I don't know why these are so much later. They must be something different, but only slightly. These are doubles. They tend to fall over under their own weight, as you can see. They're nice. We walked right past the cherry and the plum, both doing really well. We also walked right past the um, current. Normally that's a real decent sized shrub, but that one didn't like transplanting a couple years back and has been slow to recover. Cherry's leafing out. Plum is Starting to be a good bit greener. That is definitely alive. I'm easing up on the like super frequent um, watering on those. These are cute, but they're starting to finish out. Then, let's see. These are newly opened. They're teeny. These really need fins. Look at them. Huge bundle. Wow. And then, Poet's Daffodil. I guess they just needed more space. Because there weren't that many of these. Like, this was one bulb. There weren't that many of these. These really are a favorite of mine. I like how these two are so similar but so different. Is there two different roots growing up side by side? 
The mix that I had had yellow ones very differently timed. But for the most part right now, you can see most of them are white. It works though, they're cute because it goes with the white tree. I have no idea what color blossoms either of the plum or the other the sweet cherry will end up having. The Josta berry is starting to open its flowers too. So there will be fruit on this. For sure. I feel like the flowers aren't as frequent as they often are. I think they flower on second year wood, but I'm not I'm not recalling exactly. There's still a bunch more daffodils to come. I wonder what'll be in there. And those are done. These are the same pink ones, but I picked a lot of them. Only a couple left. And I should do a video specifically to rhubarb soon. Because that would be good. More yellows up in here. Like over there. And there. Oh, and the pear is in real good bloom. And I'm seeing some apple blossoms as well. So here's the pear. And then there's, it's just really well f flowered this year. This is the first year it's put out really good flowers. And then the apple has got just a few. They seem to flower on the tips of new wood, which will be good to remember. For pruning. Yep. As the hedges are leafing out. This is all of the little white sink pots is a new hedge. And I don't know, some of the strawberries are doing great, and some of them are not doing so great. I still seem to have one in almost every pot, which is good. And then there's that one back there that has both a rhubarb and a strawberry because reasons? There's the strawberry. It's weak and it heaved, but it's alive. And there's the rhubarb. And this one's got neither. I don't know. It's a little strange. Weeds. Mm. Really wish I hadn't planted this non edible sweet pea. Buckwheat, I mean, you'll have that, but the sweet pea is totally my fault. There's a kitty that wants to say hi. Glory of the Snow is just about done. These tulips are really hanging tight. I'm not used to tulips that last this long. And there's my raspberry and my dead raspberry.
Yeah, it looks like the, uh, these are about done, too. Unlike the daffodils, I think I might still deadhead those, because I feel like I don't have enough of them. <laughs> Whereas with the daffodils, maybe I can leave the seed heads on for now, huh? <laughs> it seems like I got enough. So, here we are, April 13th, 2017. I'm not going to bother going down the hill today. I'm going to see how we fared, but at least I'm not going down it with, with video. I might go down and check and see if the plants are alive. Or not, I think I might get replacement. I think that's a possibility. But Gardens Direct is where I got all of this. Um, all of these ones that came bare root. It's still kind of rush hour down there. <laughs> it's a beautiful day. Happy spring.